Hey guys, today we're going to look at uh, just kind of throwing together a home uh, theater PC out of an old uh, computer that we were using. Um, you know, we like to recycle our computer parts if we can. They're uh, pretty expensive to build a new one and try to get as much use out of them as we can. So usually I start out building one to play games with and eventually it dwindles down to being something the wife uses for her Facebook games and internet stuff and uh, now in this case we're ready to upgrade one of her machines so we're taking the components out of her old case and just putting them into a uh, home theater case here that we got from uh, N Media PC if you guys remember when we did the uh, product uh, showcase on this case but it's a good idea to uh, take an older machine something that does, you can't really use much for gaming anything anymore and uh, turn it into something like this where you could either turn it into a file server for your home network or in this case where we're making it into a uh, home theater PC. So this is just a socket 478 board with a uh, Intel 3 gigahertz processor, a Pentium 4 processor. This is a Asus uh, P4S 8X-X board and we have just a uh, an aftermarket but cheap uh, copper cooler on it. I, I can't even remember who made it. I think that was a Thermaltake cooler that we bought years ago for it. I am going to try to do some online gaming with it. Uh, a couple of games I like to play online are uh, Shot Online Golf and uh, Dungeon and Dragons Online. Um, neither one are ones that have really big system requirements. So I think by putting a, a halfway decent video card in here and uh, enough memory that we may be able to do some online gaming with it as well as watching movies and that sort of thing. So this has got an ATI Radeon. It's the uh, X850 XT card. I think this was a 256 meg AGP card. Uh, pretty good card back a few years ago. Fairly dated now, but should still be good enough for some online gaming. We're putting in 2 gigs of uh, Yield. DDR400 uh, RAM in it and dual channel. Uh, to connect to the TV itself, I'm using a uh, MSI Theater uh, 550 Pro TV tuner card, and that's an old card. I mean, that, that's got to be 10 years old. I can't even tell you when I bought that. And just to take some of the workload off the processor, instead of using the onboard sound, we just stuck a, uh, a cheap creative uh, labs card in here. I think this is a 128-bit uh, PCI sound card, so nothing fancy. So basically all cheap older parts, uh, you know, you could probably look on eBay and, and find a lot of these parts fairly inexpensive, or maybe you have an old computer with these parts that, uh, you know, you could put together a home theater with. Well, because we're not looking to stick a lot of money into this machine, um, I don't want to buy any new components and put it in here. I don't want to make it into a fairly expensive build. Um, this was just a cheap old Vestec. I don't know if you can make that out. It's just a Vestec uh, ATX power supply, 250 watt power supply, nothing fancy. When it, we want to keep it kind of quiet um, so it isn't too annoying while watching movies. And for internal drives, I'm just using a uh, cheap $20 uh, DVD drive in there. And uh, for a hard drive, I just have a small 100 gig ATA uh, hard drive that I'm putting in there. We can always upgrade that later in the future, but just to kind of get it up and running and play with it a little bit. Uh, nothing too fancy, nothing that uh, you know most people don't have laying around. So I'm going to continue putting the drives and stuff in here and see if we can get the cables all managed. and. I'll show you what it looks like uh, when we get ready to turn it on. Okay, we have everything in the case. So the ca cables are kind of wrapped up, just kind of tucked out of the way. We're not going to do a real serious job with cable management because this is just going to have a cover on it. I'm more concerned just about uh, not having anything hit fans and allowing good airflow to come through it. The thing I liked about this case was that it gives you the mounts for four different hard drives. So as we extend the system, uh, maybe down the road we're going to put a dual core, you know, motherboard processor in here. Maybe want to add a couple of uh, gigabyte uh, hard drives into it to store more, more movies. 
On the back of it, the way we're going to connect this is we're hooking it up to an older TV. Um, this TV doesn't have S-Video or uh, HDMI coming out of it, so this uh, video card has a S-Video or a uh, older composite style. So we're going to use composite video to go to the TV, so it's not going to be great resolution, but we'll at least be able to see it. It should be okay for movies. Uh, we're using a uh, SIG wireless network card to get onto our network with, and also right underneath here is our uh, transceiver for our wireless keyboard and mouse. And then this guy here that's kind of fallen all over the place, this is our uh, wireless sender for our keyboard for the MSI uh, um, video or TV card so we can run the remote for the uh, TV card, change channels, uh, change volume, stuff like that. Uh, the TV card itself just has a in and out jack for uh, coax for a TV signal, cable signal. And then with this uh, sound card we're just going to run the audio off of that. Um, grab my cable here, I'll kind of show you what we're going to do. We're just going to use a uh, eighth inch uh, headphone jack, male headphone jack, plug it in where the speakers would normally go, and then we're going to split that off into a left and right channel RCA jack so that we can uh, plug that right into the TV for our left and right sound. So it's going to be a fairly simple setup. It's, like I said, an older TV, nothing too fancy, but we have expandability in the future. Uh, we could upgrade to a better video card once we get a uh, you know, high definition television that we want to hook it up to, but uh, for now I'm going to pop the covers on and uh, hook it up and see how it runs. Okay, as you can see we have it up and running now. Um, not sure if you can make that out or not. Pentium 4 uh, CPU, 3.06 gigahertz, 2 gigs of RAM. This is running uh, Windows XP on it. Okay, here's an example of a, a show on Hulu.com, just to give you an idea how uh, well internet uh, TV or uh, watching internet uh, shows and movies works on it. And just to give you a couple other examples of uh, how things look on the TV, this is just uh, Yahoo's homepage for uh, reading news and stuff. And then just a shot of my uh, YouTube channel so you can get an idea of. Uh, how it looks on YouTube. Actually, I'll start a clip here. It has pretty good quality. The camera doesn't pick it up very well, but in uh, in real life, it actually looks pretty good. But anyway, that's going to be it for this uh, video. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. If we do any updates on this uh, machine, I'll definitely keep you updated. That's a look at the uh, case while it's up and running now with the blue LED in the front.